welcome to Behind the Stage at ACT. Today we're talking to Steve Cohen uh, from the new production of Him, which opens in about a week. So, Steve, thanks for sitting down and talking to me. Um, My pleasure. For, you know, well, first of all, let's little, hear a little bit about yourself. What, uh, where, where are you from? What's going on? Uh, I, I grew up in uh, Long Island, uh, in Baldwin, New York. Um, for 25 years, I worked in corporate America uh, as a computer programmer, mostly uh, software support work on mainframes. That definitely doesn't lend itself to a lot of performance, so how did you end up on stage? Um, well, uh, I guess about 13 years ago, uh, I got displaced and I decided to um, give acting a whirl because I always wanted to try it and there was an opportunity at that time. Uh, initially went to uh, classes with, uh, um, in creative, at creative workshops in Aventura, that's where I started. I started doing extra work. Um, I was standing in for David Caruso on CSI Miami uh, and started doing commercials, a lot of commercials, a lot of extra work, and then theater. I graduated from uh, uh, Burt Reynolds' master class, master acting class here. Well, that's exciting. Uh, um, what now, um, how did you discover ACT? Uh, I, I had a friend who got me into the Barn Theater. And once I got into the Barn Theater, there was auditions here, and um, I, I met some people here that uh, that were doing the auditions, and I came here to audition. Exciting. So now you're doing him, which is uh, from Daisy Foot, uh, the daughter of Horton Foot. Um, what can you tell me about uh, basically about the show and and your character? The the character is a, it's a wonderful opportunity to play somebody who still has a child in them. So it, you know, it, it's a great, it's it's a great opportunity, and it's a lot of fun uh, playing someone with a child, childlike innocence. Now, how do you balance? Because playing someone who is learning disabled can mm -hmm. be a, a quite a, an acting challenge, to a knife edge. How do you balance being quote unquote politically correct and still honoring the character without offending anyone being being a caricature? Well, I I, I really just. Um, Get basically into the character, and I don't worry. I don't really worry about being politically incorrect. I think you know, I have to immerse myself on who the character is and do the basic acting work that's that's necessary to define the character. So the and honesty of the character comes right. through. Okay, awesome. Right. That's great. Um, so, what has been? Uh, I know you guys have been in rehearsal for what a month or so. You know, what's Five been, weeks. What's been the most uh, challenging aspect of, of becoming this this character who's disabled? Uh, well, I kind of had a feel for him right away as to who he was, um, and basically, uh, one of the hardest parts, I guess, of, of the character is when um, there, there's a scene where Farley breaks down, and that's, you know, it, 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 ha it hasn't ever been a, a challenge for me as an actor to uh, emote that way as an adult. But to emote that way as, as somebody who's learning disabled and who has basically um, a, a child's innocence is a different feeling. It, and that was, that was quite interesting and uh, quite a challenge to do. Well, that's great. Um, so, you know, I ask this to everybody because I always like to hear who their, everyone's uh, influences are. So who inspires you as, as an actor? Who, who are some of your heroes? Uh, pretty much everybody. <laughs> <laughs> there's always something new to learn. Yes. No, well, there's so many wonderful, wonderful actors that you know that I've watched through the years, and you know, just like uh, millions of Al Pacino, Daniel Day Lewis, um, Damian Lewis, who's who was uh, he, he's a great English actor um, who, who's in uh, Homeland. Homeland. Yes. Who was in Homeland? Um, uh, Claire Danes is a wonderful actress. There's so many good, good actors. And what inspires me also is good writers. I, I, I love when there's a really good script. Uh, Do you learn from other actors while being on stage? Sure, sure. Um, when, you know, uh, whenever you see a good actor, you try to emulate some of the things that they're doing as well. Um, so, yeah, I, you know, when, when I'm working with good people, and I, and I feel like there, there's very good people in this cast. Um, it, it's 
there's a, there's always something that you can pick up. That sounds like you're having an amazing time. So, what what's next for Steve? What's coming up after this? Do you get a rest or? I, I think it, I get a day's rest. A day. <laughs> uh, we we're starting rehearsals for God of Hell right after this, so I, I think we end on Saturday, Sunday. I have the day off, uh, with, uh, which my wife will beat me at golf in. Uh, and then Monday, I think we start rehearsals for God of Hell. So two shows back to back, and uh, then some well-deserved rest, I hope. Well, yeah, I'm sure. Well, Steve, thanks for sitting down and talking to me. I'm sure our, our audience here on uh, the website and YouTube is going to enjoy what you have to say. And I wish you a strong and healthy run. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank You're you very, very much. Welcome.